What's up guys, Technicals here. Today I'm taking you through a farm tour of my at-home cryptocurrency mining farm. I'm just a simple guy, really humble, really good looking. It was about two months ago, I had none of this and I was able to put it together pretty quick. So I'm pretty proud of it. I'm gonna take you through and show you what I got. So this is a detached garage that I had built last year. It's uh, here, disconnected from my house. It's really a tool workshop type area. It's about a little over 1200 square feet. So I've got lots of room to work with. It has no driveway. Um, I'm going to start with the intake since that's already out here. Since I need cold air going in to feed the miners, especially during summer, I went ahead and built this small awning to protect the intake from rain elements, so on, so on and so forth. I've got this small five foot down to four foot pitch. Wraps around, got some deck boards. We'll probably paint it uh, the dark brown to match the rest of the facade. Just recently put in this little gate here, aluminum screening on it. And inside, We've also got aluminum screening. Uh, now, will it block out everything? No, but it's about getting that 90% of big stuff. So it prevents birds and other things like that from coming in here and setting up shop, hopefully some bigger bugs too. Uh, but we'll deal with that as it comes. Really, it's just, uh, again, to keep it mostly the way out. I've got this in here. Uh, this, these work great. They're fake hornet nests. They work great for keeping away wasps. So I got that to ward off wasps. And I actually got this to ward off hippopotamuses. Haven't seen a single hippopotamus yet. So these, these work great for hippopotamuses. Anyway, the intakes, three times uh, 12 by 20 intake grills. These are just the normal in-wall air return grills that you would get from a home improvement store. They fit standard size filters. Oh, look, already got some good stuff being collected. So it's doing its job. Um, that way I can come in here periodically and cycle these out. I could use uh, re reusable filters, washable filters, but right now I'm just using the cheapos. I use the lowest MERV rating, well, not the lowest, but the lowest MERV rating that has somewhat of a tight ply to uh, allow for as, mu as much airflow that can go through without, uh, you know, because I don't want to impede the fans. I'll need the airflow, but I don't want the fans sucking stuff through the filter because some of those lower MERV filters will allow small particles and bugs and gnats and things like that through. So I've got three of these. They're going between the studs, all sealed up out here, and you've got the awning protecting it from rain. So two-stage filtration. Stage one, bigger particles through this aluminum mesh. Second stage through these filters, and that goes into the mining room. For the purposes of the video, I went ahead and turned off my mining equipment so it isn't as loud and you can hear my angelic voice. So this is the mining room. Pretty unassuming, pretty small. It's a roughly seven by eight, eight by eight ish room that I just built here in the corner of the shed. Previously, we were over there with the intakes right next to the garage door. And so this room is as sealed as I can possibly make it. That way, the idea being is that the hot lane, the exhaust comes out here and is trapped inside the building. We'll get to that later. Eventually, I hope to 3D print some extensions onto these amp miners that can protrude through foam board. Now I'm using foam board through this little picture window so I can keep things modular. So if I add ASICs or delete ASICs, I can just take them out and put cheap foam board back in to replace it. So I'm not in a rigid structure that requires me to do crazy things with the miners in order to get into the hot lane. I can just use cheap foam board, keep it modular, keep it simple, and just kind of fill in through this picture window while the rest of the structure remains sealed. So you're probably asking, why is this room covered in tape? What gives? Well, I had a lot of this vinyl four inch tape. I started sealing seams with it. And then if you're an adult with ADHD, you know how that goes. You just start doing the rest of it. So the entire room is covered in this white tape. Um, I think it's a vibe. I was thinking of doing white and blue stripes and maybe a big gold dome on top. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So going through the door, it does stick a little bit because I do have foam ceiling around here and I've got a little draft blocker down there as well. Again, the idea being to seal in as much as possible. So here we are at the intakes. These are three AC Infinity 12 inch fans. If you look through, you'll see the filter. They are mounted within a double wall that I had built because the fan's a little deeper than the wall is. So I can mount them in. All their wires chase up and feed into this AC Infinity controller which has a pigtail back here, which would be the hottest part of the room. I've got drop ceiling in here, a light. Again, this is to seal everything up, white tape along the seams as much as possible. 
A little bit of coat of base in certain places, again, to seal the air. As far as the electricals go, I have one 50 amp and two 30 amp circuits coming in, dedicated of course, and one 20 amp, 120 to come in to feed various things that need 120. If you saw my rules video, you know that I'm limiting myself to 100 amps mining in service. So this is what I've got to deal with. Now I'm not at capacity yet, and so this forces me, this rule forces me to get smart with the equipment that I have. So if I want, if I reach capacity and want to change something out, I have to get rid of something that's less efficient, sell it, what have you. It requires me, it makes me stay on top of things, stay agile. See that video below if you'd like to know more about my mining rules. Got the 120 coming into a meter box here so I can monitor it. Some of the couple of the CPU rigs are on running on this, but this is mainly for support structure. So the AC Infinity fans run off it, the security camera, maybe some other things that require 120. And so what do we have mining? Starting over here, we've got the ASICs all along the top. Those stay on top by design because the hottest part portion of the air in the room, if it ever gets hot, is going to be up top. These have the most powerful fans, and so these are pushing the most amount of air out. If in the future the air just gets way too hot in here, I do have room where I can add an extra exhaust fan, or I could cut one in here or up top if I need the extra exhaust. But as of right, as of right now, I've had a few 70 degree days and it stays icy cool in here. So running down the list, two S19J Pros, one S21 200 Terahash, and one L7 9050M, although it runs at about 9.3 giga hash. The KSO Pro, heavily overclocked, running at around 340 giga hash, are three CPU miners, 7950X3D, 7900, 5900X. And then our newest addition down here, the OctaMiner, eBay special, used, about $500, not bad. It's the Ultra X12, although it came with no badging, so I took the liberty of 3D printing a little badge, I think that's how you spell it, and put it on there. Right now it's just running three GPUs, but we've got some big changes in store for the CPU department. You might notice, I'm not heavy on GPUs. Most C most crypto miners are very heavy on GPU, very heavy on ASIC. Unless you're rabbit mining, you have everything and a ton of CPU miners. But I'm kind of keeping it this way because I want to make sure I focus and cover the broad spectrum of mining because I'm making content. I want to cover different types of mining. So hopefully you can get into hard drive mining, phone mining, whatever. Uh, but I'm not going heavy on GPUs. My current plan is to fit as many in here over time as I can, but I will only ever have one GPU mining rig. Now, how many cards I can get in there is another question entirely, because one, one, one big case full of 4090s is certainly a lot of power and equivalent to many other mining rigs. So that, again, with the 100 amp rule, sort of forces me to think in those terms. The two L3 Pluses I have, this is just one, are not on, obviously. It does not make sense to run them, even though prices are through the roof. Uh, hope to sell those here in the future. And honestly, I'm pretty sure I'm going to sell my S19J Pros and probably the L7, because the L9 is coming, hash blades are reportedly coming. S19J Pros, even if prices stay high after the halving, they'll only really be pulling maybe a couple bucks a day. And because of the 100 amp rule, it requires me to stay fashion forward. I'd much rather sell those and finance an S21 or something that is, has much greater efficiency. Going back to the power structure, a 50 amp PDU. These are pretty uncommon. I don't see a lot of these in crypto mining. Not a lot of outlets, but really these ASICs kind of eat it all up. This one is running at about 80%. It's not on right now, but it runs at about 36 amps out of 50. So underneath this 30 amp PDU, I'm sure people are familiar with this, not a trip light cheapo amazon model probably hope to upgrade these here in the future and probably hope to do a little dusting as well this one's running pretty close but not quite to the limit i could certainly fit a couple more uh, on here but right now the l7's running on there because the whips i have don't fit these c14s or c17 what are these these smiley these these board face connectors i'm not sure and then down here this one is basically empty it's running the gpu rig currently only three amps again only three gpus not a lot there and basically this room was built surrounding this shelf this seven foot shelf from Lowe's the room was kind of spotted in and built around it because I had two of these shelves put the shelves together built the room around it again with the idea of staying modular could probably afford to upgrade my switch old TP link here could probably afford to do that 
The internet is chased up and out and down to an extender, and that is the mining room. I have a trash can because look how clean and organized I am. But let's kick these back on so we can start making money again and continue the tour. Finally, the last leg of our tour is what I just finished up this morning, the exhaust fan. 24 inch Ken Brown louvered exhaust fan. Went and put it way up high. Again, because everything's exhausting into the building, I wanted to make sure I'm pulling the hottest possible air out from the top. And that way it's replaced by cooler air moving up. You can see it's kind of skewed over to the left because it's to the left of the King Stud. And that allows me, if it gets too hot during the summer, to add a second fan over to the right. I installed an outlet up there because it's a plug-in model. And that way we could do double fans or even go down, down a notch and put a four-way if we really want to get stupid about things. But for right now, this seems to work well. My mining farm, I like mining cryptocurrency because I'm a builder at heart. So subscribe to the channel. I do a lot of, I find ways to try to do building type stuff, infrastructure type stuff. If you like videos like this, demonstrating more of the setup surrounding mining versus the actual mining and looking into coins and stuff like that, uh, let me know in the comments below because I love doing that kind of stuff. I don't like researching coins. I like to build things like this. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you think of uh, something better you, uh, based on what you saw, if you think there's a better way for me to go about doing stuff, let me know because I'd love to hear it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Otherwise, I'm the Technicals. See you next time.